Hi, my name is Cassandra and I'm a kinesiologist. Today I'm going to be teaching you some exercises to help manage your lower back pain. This is going to be an intro or beginner level. We're going to involve stretching, mobility, and strengthening. Now, it's important to consult your healthcare provider if you're starting a new exercise program, especially if you have pre-existing conditions. Make sure to keep all the movements pain-free, comfortable, and remember to keep breathing. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the warm-up. For this set of exercises, you're gonna need just yourself and a mat. You're gonna start by lying down on your back, And we're gonna do the mobility exercise called pelvic clock. You're gonna do about 10 or so. What you're gonna do is flatten your back against the mat first, squeezing your glutes, bringing, tucking in your belly button. Then you're gonna slowly arch and alternate between those two. That's called a pelvic tilt. You're also going to shift your hips left and right, side to side. You can do that in order, up, down, side, side, making a big cross. And you're gonna do about eight to 10 here. Now you're going to take one leg up to your chest and the other leg down to the floor. You're gonna hold your knee to your chest for about 20 to 30 seconds. Great, you're gonna switch here. Keeping that other leg right down on the floor. Perfect. Now you're gonna go onto hands and knees. This is what we call four point. And you're gonna do a cat camel. Okay, now remember with all of these exercises, make sure to keep them comfortable, keep breathing and pain-free. So what you're gonna do is round the back here, tuck your belly button in and arch. And you're gonna do about 10 here as well. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna go down to your stomach. And this is what we call a cobra or a sloppy push-up. So what you're gonna do is you're only gonna go up onto your elbows. The resting position is here, down, face right onto the mat. And then you're just gonna shift your elbows up and extend your back as comfortable. Hold for about five, six seconds here. And you're going to go back up. Now remember, you can always manage the range here by going less far and holding for less time. Great. Last exercise, you're going to move back onto your back. And you're gonna do some gentle rotation side to side with your knees. So feet nice and supported on the mat, knees together, and you're just gonna go over to one side, just as comfortable. Having the hands relax on your stomach or to the side is great. Perfect. There you go. You're nicely warmed up. Ready for the exercise portion. All right, let's get started with some exercises. So these exercises are for a lighter intensity 
maybe if you're experiencing a little bit more back pain, uh, this is to get started with some gentle strengthening. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of different exercises that involve some funny names. The first one is gonna be the dead bug. You're gonna be lying on your back here, and you're gonna start with uh, both knees up in the air like this. Keep your back nice and flat on the mat. Both hands are gonna be up in the air, and now you're gonna be alternating hand and leg stretch, and they're gonna be opposite. So if you're gonna take your left leg and go down, your right hand is gonna go and stretch. You're gonna come back up, and you're gonna alternate. Make sure that you're keeping your back nice and flat on the mat and you're not arching while you do so. Good, you're gonna do two more here. And the last one. Now you're gonna stay on your back and you're gonna do a bridge. So the bridge is going to work your core and your glutes and your hamstrings. Bring that belly button in so you get a little bit of a pelvic tilt. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and you're going to lift up with your hips leading with the hips. Make sure that you're not arching your back when you do this. Keep it all glute and hamstring dominant. You're gonna do 10 here. Good, two more. And 10, great. Now you're gonna rotate and flip over onto four point, hands and knees. And we're gonna be doing something called the bird dog. So this position here is the dog. Similar to the dead bug, you're gonna be stretching out one hand, one leg on opposite sides. So as you stretch out that left hand, you're going to extend with your right leg. You're gonna reach nice and far in front of you, leading with the heel, so you're not getting any big arches in the back. Remember to keep your core engaged here. Now, if you find this too challenging, just lift up a slight distance. To get started, once you feel more comfortable, stretch all the way. Great. You can also add a little bit of difficulty by holding for longer. Thanks for joining me today. For best results, try doing these exercises once daily or once every second day. Do them one to two sets of about 10 reps and keep them pain-free.